Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, it is time for another fun and fantastic Sim Lab creation. Let me show you how easy it is to make this. Of course, step one is create new 3D design. This shape reminds me a bit of a tornado, so I'm going to call this the Tornado Twist. We're going to make that with a fantastic shape called the helix. So type helix and you'll see that it shows up right here. We're going to bring it in and you can see it is really just this spiral like this. Now, so we don't stress the system, let's lock this at four. I'm going to take the bottom radius and I'm going to max it out so it's as large as it can be. I'm going to keep the top radius too separation I'm going to max that out to the max as well and I'm going to make the sketch diameter the max as well so this is our shape now I'm going to invert it you can see it runs into the bottom so I'm going to do control up notice if it resets like this sometimes you just need to wait for it to reload because we've made this so complex once again I'm going to click on that and do control up and make sure I've got it the way I want. So to get that cool trough, we just stretch these out to make them into a square. Or you can make it custom. Notice how I even made it wider than a square. I can rotate these. And then here's what's funky. If we look at this, we're working upside down. So if I pull this one in, you can see that actually gives us the shape we wanted up top. It may take a moment for it to adapt. I'm going to stretch these out just a little more as I keep tweaking until I get a little bit of a course that will hold the balls. I'm going to make these a little less pointed. And bingo! there is the new course that we can play with. Friends, that is all there is to it. I'm going to pick a more fun color. I'm going to go with that crazy pink I had before. I'm also going to shift scale so it's a little bit larger. So notice I've got it up into the 70s. I'm going to type 75 and press enter. I think that's just going to make it look more fun. We're going to add some spheres that will go down. So I'm going to get these as close as I can. That was perfect because of cruising, it dropped right in there. I'm going to shift squeeze to make those reasonably small. Pick a different color for them. And I am going to make three of these. Use a couple nudges, make a second color. Let's make this one a funky purple. And let's do control D. I'll nudge this one out. And I'm going to make it a green. And I want to do it a custom green just because I think those are a lot more fun. All right, so they are, so I've got those all placed. They're silly, it's not really gonna be a race, but it is gonna be fun. Friends, let's take this to the Sim Lab. If you've never done this before, you simply click right up here and wait for it to load. Sometimes with this shape, because of its complex nature, it'll take longer to load. You may have to click wait a few times, especially if you add more twist while you're exploring. So here the shape has been created. Now if we just hit play, it'll fall over. So what we need to do is click on it and we need to lock it in place. This is the make static button. Now we could also switch its material. Notice right there it froze a little bit as it was thinking. I'm going to just leave it with the stock plastic. And then I'm also going to leave these all as plastic too. Friends, now we can hit play and see what happens. Look at that. There go the balls all the way down. And bingo, we have just made the tornado twist. Now notice there's a little piece right in here. We are going to hit reset. Let's go back and fix that so they can actually get out. All right, everybody, so we've got this little chunk down here that was breaking it. Let's fix that with a whole sphere. So bring out a sphere, make it a hole. We're gonna try and get it right in the middle of that and we're gonna do shift squeeze to shrink it down so that it fits right in that spot. So I'm using the arrow keys to bring it out. 
I'll do a couple control ups, pull it towards me, and we want it to just come to those edges. If we do F to fit view, you can see that that is going to trim it pretty well. But if we look underneath, it's going to cut through. So we need to do control up a couple clicks there. Now it's not going to cut through. And that should make a much better exit. I'm going to grab those two. Let's do control G and then wait patiently as it does the math to cut that area out. Look at that. I still had it a tiny bit too low. I'm going to double click to edit and I'm going to do control up a couple clicks. I'm also going to squeeze this down so it's more oblong and stretch that out a little further. One more double check. Ooh, I was going to cut out right there too. So I'm going to make that skinny like that. Click out here to let it recut and let's see if that one worked the way I wanted. Bingo. I think that is good for another test. Let's go back to SimLab. Nope, the shape does have to remake itself. Bingo, now its geometry is ready to use. This time, I'm gonna change the material. Let's make it ice. And I'm gonna make one of these balls a different material. Let's make it bouncy rubber. I'm gonna make the purple one steel. And let's make the green one hardwood. Notice they have all those fantastic colors. I'm gonna move so I, I'm gonna move so I can get a better view of this and let's hit play. And let's hit play and see what we get. Okay, so this is what happens when you forget to make it static. Because we adjusted that, I need to relock it. Now friends, let's get it in an angle where we can see those balls rolling by and let's hit play. There they go. Around and around and around. Looks like green is going to be the winner. And bingo, out they go. Now friends, don't forget one of the coolest things about SimLab is you can back that up and rewatch it from all kinds of different angles. So here if I hit play, boom, we can see them all the way around. We can spin it as it's playing the replay and you can go back and you can modify everything. Check this out, if we make this transparent, we can even see through it as they go. I'm gonna hit play one more time just cause it's fun to watch them go. There they are around, transferring through, able to see them. How fun is that? Friends, of course, when you finish, you can also click over here on share switch to whichever style of video you want say you want to put it on the web and when you hit create video it'll take what you did and turn it into a sweet little video clip that you can share on all your social media platforms i have got mine set to ask where i want to save it i'm going to put mine in my downloads folder as tornado twist you can also save images as you can see you can easily swap back to the other styles it's super cool to have a blast taking your tinkercad content and turning it into something you can share with the entire world right now i'm gonna hit reset and i'm gonna return to the building area friends of course i hope you enjoyed playing with the helix notice since we grouped it we cannot change its parameters you can simply search helix though to bring in another one if you want to play with it. Notice I did make mine a favorite so it's easier to find. I can always click over here, go to favorites and bingo, bring out the helix and have fun making my own custom tornado twist or whatever you can think of. I do want to give you a quick warning that if you make these too large, they will really slow down SimLab. I'm gonna wrap up friends by clicking on settings. Let's pick a different color. I'm gonna go with that crazy yellow background. I'm gonna shut off that grid and close the settings. I'm gonna take away the transparency just cause I think that purple looks better. Get it aligned so I think it's a pretty cool view of the tornado twist. And then if you wanna share it with the world, it is so simple friends. Simply click right here to return to the Tinkercad dashboard click up here on the gear and change its properties give it a name of course mine is a tornado twist you can see this tutorial is coming soon these are different ways that you can reach me give it some tags 
Of course, I do want to remind you, friends, if you do HLMT23 as one of your tags, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you reactions, finally set it to public, and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying, I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. When you're done, of course, hit save changes. Friends, after you've done that, if you click up here on the gallery, you'll be instantly taken to the staff favorites. Don't forget, if you check these out, if it is one of mine, of course, there will be a tutorial in the link, and the reactions are appreciated. Friends, I'm going to cancel out of there, though, because I instead want to shut off those staff picks. I always like to switch to this view so I can see more at once. Of course, there is my design that was just published, and check out these other amazing designs that were created by other users. Friends, it is so cool to take a moment, find things you like, and of course, give them a reaction. That is so cute. <laughs> check this one out down here. That is absolutely awesome. Giving it a wow. Of course, friends, when you do click any of my designs, once again, those reactions are totally appreciated. There will be a tutorial up here, and then finally, and finally, if you click on this link right here, you'll instantly see all of my designs sorted by likes. Of course, friends, if you click on them, there will be a tutorial showing you how to make it, and those reactions are appreciated. You can also, though, switch over here to Recent, and you'll see all the designs I've been working on lately. Friends, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of amazing categories, and then down below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and some Tinkercad essentials. Of course, I also want to remind you about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, please also note there is a link to the Tinkercad community discord as you can see there are a ton of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a